time for another installment of Flashpoint. This week, I had the opportunity to sit down with Vicki Lawrence. Good morning, I'm Amanda Castro. She's entertained audiences over the course of four decades with famous roles on The Carol Burnett Show and Mama's Family. But lately, Vicki Lawrence is turning her attention to something else, and she's here today to share her story. And we are so excited to be joined by the Thanks. Emmy Award-winning actress and comedian, Vicki Lawrence. Thank you so much for joining us Thank here on Flashpoint. Thank you for having me, Amanda. So, Vicki, you're here to talk about your experience with a little-known disease, so please share us your story. Well, I'm traveling around the country uh, trying to get the word out about CIU, which is chronic idiopathic urticaria, a um, difficult to diagnose form of chronic hives. And as it turns out, uh, there are a million and a half of us in this country uh, that have this disease. And I was diagnosed probably about mm, six years ago and uh, just decided that I would help with this campaign and be the face of hives, if you will. I'm the poster child for <laughs> Face of hives. That's, Just want to let you all know you're not doing it alone. I'm, I'm in there with you. We'll make sure we include that on your credits. <laughs> so, Vicki, when did you get hives? Well, you mentioned six years ago. Tell us the story about, about how you noticed and how you well, came upon I, this. I woke up with my hands itching one morning. And I said to my husband, buy a lottery ticket. We're coming into a lot of money because the palms of my hands were itching so badly. And I, you know, we thought it was really funny for a few minutes and then it was not so funny. So I soaked them in ice water, flash forward to the next day when I wake up with my hands itching again. I'm like, what the heck is going on? So I, uh, I mean, I didn't think anything about it really until later when I was walking the dogs and it, I broke out all over my whole body. Uh, went to see my allergist uh, who treated me for an allergic reaction to hives, uh, but after six weeks, he said, and it wasn't working, uh, he said, I think you have chronic idiopathic urticaria. I honestly thought he had made it up. Chronic meaning it's now lasted for more than six weeks. Idiopathic meaning he cannot tell me why it's happening. There's no trigger for those of us who have this. Um, and urticaria is like the fancy doctor word for hives. Uh, fortunately, he was familiar with the condition and we were able to get my hives under control, but I had a, an opportunity a couple years ago to help with, put this program and this website, CIUNU.com, together. Uh, my story is on there. It's, um, it's uh, supported by the Asthma and Allergy Foundation of America. It's made possible by Genentech and Novartis. It's a really nice website. I'm really proud of it. Now when you Google CIU, I think we pop up pretty quickly. And it's just a wealth of information for, for people who think this may be them and have been looking for answers. And we're going to dive more into that in just a few minutes. We're going to talk to Vicki Lawrence a little more when we come back about how her national program is getting results for those affected by CIU. Welcome back to Flashpoint. Today we're talking with Emmy-winning actress and comedian Vicki Lawrence. You, you're here to talk about your experience with CIU and your awareness campaign. So first of all, let's just dive right in. What is CIU and you and how in your involvement with that? It's a website that was put together as sort of an educational outreach program for people who think they might have uh, chronic hives and they haven't been able to find the answers. When, when I was diagnosed and I googled CIU, there was no good information on the web. Um, there were a lot of people asking questions. There were a lot of people that were very frustrated looking for answers, but there wasn't any really good information. Uh, so as I said a couple of years ago, I had an opportunity to join, uh, to put my face on this website. And I said, yes, I will throw my hives in the ring and I will be a spokesperson and let people know that I have been through it. My story is on this website. There are downloadable materials that will encourage uh, patients to track their hives and take pictures uh, so that when you do get to the right doctor that knows about CIU, you'll be armed and you can be proactive about uh, finding a way to manage your hives. It's um, come to find out it is uh, treatable, but it's not curable. I haven't seen hives for a number of years now, but that's not to say they couldn't come back because for me, as for the million and a half others, it's chronic. So, and, the, and I think the frustrating thing, Amanda, is that you try to blame yourself. Mm -hmm. Like, what have I done wrong? What did I eat? What have I, 
what soap, what perfume, what am I doing? And it's not anything we have done. It's for us just chronic and it just happens. And you're here to let those people know who may be experiencing this. That they're not alone. I can't tell you how many interviews I've done and like the stage manager will come running up afterwards and say, oh my God, I think this is my mom. I have to call her right now. So, you know, there are a lot of people out there that have been looking for answers and we're just trying to help lead them in the right direction. And I'm sure having a person like you, someone who people look up to, I'm sure, just to see your face and, and you're speaking out. I think just to see a recognizable face, yeah. you know, and I'm hoping that people, that acronym will just become, you know, people will know, oh, CIU, I've seen this. I saw Vicki and Amanda talking about it, and, you know. And try and get more information yeah. and, and help themselves. So, Vicki, of course, you're well known for your time on The Carol Burnett Show and, of course, and Mama's House, that comedy sketch spinoff. So, besides raising awareness for CIU, what are you up to nowadays? I'm on the uh, road a lot with uh, a one-woman show that I put together a number of years ago called Vicki Lawrence and Mama, a two-woman show. Uh, it's half me and half Mama. We were just here, like, last week. Nice. We were in Tampa, and then we were over in Jacksonville. We drove through Orlando. <laughs> we didn't stop. You just waved on your way through. <laughs> <laughs> got stuck in traffic. Uh, you got some traffic down here in Orlando. Yep. yep. That Walt traffic Disney tourists didn't plan and tolls. On. Yeah. Those are the three T's of Orlando. <laughs> <laughs> so, you have you found being a star and and being you know as we mentioned this this face of hives. Has this helped you spread the message and spread awareness for CIU? I think just getting the word out there. You know, and traveling, we've visited, I think, 19, 20 cities now, and we'll visit more this year, and and uh, just getting on all the local news shows and letting people know that it's a real thing. You haven't lost your mind. It, it really is a condition that, that is, as I said, treatable, but not curable. So you mentioned treatable, but not curable. So what kind of help is out there? There, You know what, the, the trick, the, the thing that the website will remind you to do is to find an allergist or a dermatologist that's familiar with CIU. And hopefully the two of you can, it'll take you six weeks to get a diagnosis of CIU. Uh, and after that point, if you're with the right doctor, hopefully you can get a treatment plan together that will manage your condition for you. And is there any way our viewers who are going to see this story and who may think they know someone or that they themselves may have CIU, what can they do to get involved? Just get on that website. It's CIU and you. It's all spelled out, CIUANDYOU.com. There's a lot of great information on there. And uh, help yourself and be proactive. Thank you so much, Vicki, for joining us this Thanks morning. It was me. such a pleasure to have you here yeah, nice on Flashpoint. We would like to thank Vicki Lawrence for appearing with us this morning on Flashpoint and joining us here on News 6. Thanks. We'll be right back with more news and weather in just a few minutes.